a foreign minister from India comes from Tamil Nadu and he doesn't know Hindi. What would your advice would be? Atal Bihari Vajpai Avarilai Petti Kanbadu Florence Pereira. We thought that after the achievement of independence, after creation of Pakistan, an era of goodwill will begin. We don't know what Raj Mata told you unless I listen from her, I will not like to comment. What did you achieve by talking in Hindi in the United Nations when every country was when I was behind bars during the emergency, a resolution was passed that uh, representatives going to United Nations should use Hindi. People of Tamil Nadu, they are intelligent. Vijay TV Kaha, Rabbi Bernard, Tayari Tivarangam, VIP Todi Lenichi Kaha, Thiru Atal Bihari Vajpai Avagali, Peti Kanbadi, Florence. Pereira. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, your path is manifesto says that social harmony is a must. At the same time, it promises construction of a temple in a place at a place where a masjid existed until recently. To me, both are contradictory. Would you like to comment, sir? <laughs> there is no contradiction between the two. Ram is a national hero. Crores of people regard Sri Ram as an incarnation of God. Before the mosque was con constructed at Ayodhya, there was a temple which was destroyed. It was destroyed by the commander of Emperor Babur. Since then, this struggle goes on. When the agitation was revived after the achievement of independence, there was no mosque as such. A disputed structure was there. By an order of the court, namaz was not being offered. Muslims were not allowed to go near the disputed structure. Idols of Ram have been placed inside that structure. Puja continued every day. So for all practical purposes, it had become a temple, a mandir. Now that looked very ugly, very irritant. We thought that after the achievement of independence, after creation of Pakistan, an era of goodwill will begin. And for such an era, irritants like disputed structure in Ayodhya should be removed. Muslims could have agreed to that by their own will. But Muslim leaders did not allow. Now the court is looking into the matter. So if Ram temple is constructed, it will add to the harmony in the country, will remove an irritant which has spoiled the relations of both communities for centuries. So it will be a monument for harmony, a temple for all. Nobody should be uh, worried about it. There will be no disharmony, I assure you. Sir, you are considered a moderate leader. <coughs> Last week, while uh, talking to Rajmata Vijayaraj Sandhi of Gwalia, she told me that uh, temple building is nation building. Do you confirm to that ideology? I don't know what Rajmata told you unless I listen from her. I will not like to comment on any statement made by her. But uh, temple construction is a good thing. It's a religious matter. And as Ram was a national hero, if a temple is constructed uh, to perpetuate the memory of uh, Shri Rama, uh, it will certainly do a good to the country. Nothing hard, nothing wrong. Sir, <coughs> you are a leader we all Indians are proud of. Even uh, overseas, they consider a statesman. But what did you achieve by talking in Hindi <laughs> in the United Nations when every country was I mean, uh, looking forward to hear from you. A 
speakers from different countries while addressing the General Assembly of the United Nations speak in their own language. I spoke in my language. My language is Hindi. Though I am not opposed to English, I am talking to you in English. At the World Hindi Conference, which was attended by Mrs. Gandhi, when I was behind bars during the emergency, a resolution was passed that uh, representatives going to United Nations should use Hindi. At that time I had decided that if at all I get a chance to go to United Nations and speak there, I will carry out the resolution passed by, um, in the presence of Mrs. Gandhi and will speak in Hindi. There is arrangement for simultaneous translation. My Hindi speech was carried in all the world languages. So there was no problem. When leader of Vietnam spoke, he spoke in his own language. He is well versed in French. They used French for, as a means of communication. But when independent Vietnam spoke, he spoke in his language. And then after speaking in Hindi, I had remarked to a pressman, he said, supposing a foreign minister from India comes from Tamil Nadu and he doesn't know Hindi, what would your advice would be? I said he should speak in Tamil, but not English. But subsequently I have been speaking in English. I have, there is no taboo. I don't hate English. English has come to stay in India. And those who want to study English, they should be given every facility. We have evolved with language formula, three language formula, which gives an important place to uh, English. But Hindi should also be given its due place. So what is the... Sir, what is the issue involved in this election, sir? Important issues are involved. Issue of national security, corruption, criminalization of politics, right type of economic development. This is a very crucial election. The country stands at the crossroads and the people have to make a very momentous decision. Sir, do you have any message for the people of Tamil Nadu? What is the political situation? What do you feel about the political situation now in Tamil Nadu? People of Tamil Nadu, they are intelligent, they are mature, they know what is good for the country, what is good for the state. Let them vote against corruption. Let them vote for a for probity in public life, for cleanliness for efficiency. Tamil Nadu is a big state, it has a great future. I wish the people of Tamil Nadu all well in their endeavor. Thank you very much, sir, on behalf of Tamil Nadu and the Vijay TV, sir. Good night, sir. <laughs>